checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Prosperity Gem Ventures refunds. <sighs> I haven't received my refund yet. I'm not really that bothered about it for the simple fact that with Prosperity Gem Ventures, we are still able to compound and accumulate the rewards that we would be getting. We've been in a number of these projects that haven't, like, they've all rug pulled apart from. <laughs> prosperity gem ventures i know personally there's a number of people that have received their refunds so uh, that's definitely a good thing and gives me a confidence that i'm gonna get my refund okay they've been doing the small refunds me personally i'm one of the larger wallets as you can see here right so i'm expecting almost twenty six thousand dollars probably by the time i get my refund i'll be sitting at around twenty six thousand dollars if it's done between today and tomorrow Okay, because I think I'm accumulating around 460, maybe 450, uh, let's just work it out actually. Okay, it's 2% a day while we're still on this contract. So 25, 450 plus the 2%. I'm earning $509 a day. <laughs> okay, so yeah, decent. All right, so while I am waiting for my refund, I'm still earning $509 a day, which is decent. All right, guys, so um, I actually started with 14200 in this wallet, and I've now harvested 15500 so sitting in a profit on this wallet, and, um, you know, most of that has been compounded back in for the simple fact that I can't withdraw, right? So $25,450 if I get my refund in the next five minutes. Um, if it's within the next 24 to 48 hours, then uh, we should be sitting at around 26k. Uh, some of which I will roll over. I've seriously been thinking about rolling it over, or some of it at least, if not all of it, into the USDC contract. Okay, you can see I've actually got $17.80 uh, to collect in rewards here, which of course I can't collect until it's like $50, but I did a test transaction. I put $100 in, right, to secure my place in the USDC contract. I'm not only that, but monitor what the rewards were providing now. I can't remember what day or how long I've actually been in, right? But if I had put 10000 in here, I'd be sitting at $1,780 dollars okay guys so somebody says it's about one percent a day at the moment but this is adjustable so this changes on a weekly basis so this week i believe it's paying out one percent i'm not sure what it will be paying out next week and when it comes to the refunds on this contract you can literally just come over and click the refund button after 15 days i am told that this is a glitch right now it's not um, it, it might show you on zero okay um, even though you've been in for more than 15 days, but basically you just need to go and do it in the contract Okay, so if you come over to the contract, right and you write contract connect your wallet and then what you will basically do To claim to, to claim your refund right is you would come to number six exit gem hunt Okay, you would click that All right guys right and then you would be, be able to withdraw your deposit as long as you've been in for more than 15 days okay guys so you can basically see that they've got around 11.4 total deposits into this contract the balance is sitting at 2.5 million at the moment you can see the contract pumps the total in refunds is very small at only 725,000. So uh, this contract is working well like I said it's paying out fluctuating rewards okay guys but out of all these projects, of course, this was the first and it is the last one standing and looks like it's going to continue to produce fruit. So uh, for me, this is the only one that will be using the safest one. And um, obviously, Manny, uh, the founder of this project, has proven himself, in my opinion. Uh, well, not quite yet until I get my refund, but for many others, they've got their refunds. And I'm confident that I'm going to get my refund. If you look in the Discord, this is where you're getting the announcements from, right? Um, on dune.com because I've seen you know a few videos they're talking about the number of wallets left to refund on dune.com is closer to 2000 it says right but that doesn't seem to be right okay it's not updating in real time okay so we got an announcement from um, Manny um, yesterday he said there was under a thousand refunds left for BSC and he was going to update every 250 refunds after that okay 
Uh, earlier, we got a new announcement, which is not a surprise to me because every single day, uh, every refund date has changed. You know, he, I think he just really underestimated how long it was going to take for him to manually issue these refunds. Okay, it's not like the USDC contract where you can just click a button and get the refund. He has to process these refunds manually. All right, guys. But over here, it does confirm, um, if you go in the, obviously, onto the website, right? But just for time's sake, right? Um, in the refund policy, it states that they can take up to 21 days. It should be three to five days, uh, working days, excluding weekends or holidays, that is. Um, but it can take up to 21 days, especially considering the circumstances right now. Um, the BSC contract was the biggest contract, okay, guys? So it should be faster for the Tron and the Polygon refunds, which are coming as soon as the USDT refunds end. But this is the most recent announcement, or the last two most recent announcements that he made today. So listen, everyone, I want to say this now. The Dune.com site is incorrect and not accurate in many ways. It shows over 1,941 wallets left to refund. That is wrong. It is a little over 800 for BSC USDT contract. Please understand it does not update or show proper stats. Each wallet that hasn't been refunded, I have on a Google sheet. This is how I know it's 100% wrong, so please stop using that as a reference. And of course, my wallet is among those that haven't been refunded yet, which I've just shown you. And it says, okay, just a quick announcement. I'm running out for a few hours. Uh, when I get back, I'll start banging out the refunds again. So he's keeping us updated in real time. One thing which I like, okay, yes, it might not be, he might not be completely accurate with the times, but like I said, if we weren't getting our rewards and our money was just being held hostage without getting the rewards, like some other projects have done, I'll be a little bit more annoyed. I'll be a lot more annoyed, okay? But uh, the fact that I'm still accumulating the rewards, the 2% a day, which is what I expected to do, to, to receive when I got into the contract, that makes me feel happier and, and not too frustrated about the refund because I'm still earning, okay? Now, if I had all of my money in this and I needed to claim those rewards and I couldn't get my money out, uh, and I'd be a lot more frustrated because, hey, we need to live, right? But, you know, the lesson from that is, of course, never put all of your eggs in one basket. Never throw, uh, only throw in risk capital what you can afford to lose. I'm not saying I can afford to lose $25,000, although I didn't go in with $25,000. I went in with $14,200. i am not saying I can afford to lose $14,200. Nobody wants to lose money, right? But um, it's not about putting all your eggs in one basket. I actually lost the $14,200 in the life fund because I, I had the same amount in there as well. But uh, the good thing that I did is I diversified some into PGV and some into the life fund. I didn't put all my eggs in one basket. And if you've been following the channel, uh, if you've been following the channel, you know I went into a lot more than that. A bunch of other projects, some of which rug pulled, some of which have gone down in price, like Drip Network, for example, Piston Race, for example, and a bunch of other projects. Okay, um, so yeah, it's been a it's been a rough ride. Uh, 2023 has been a rough ride and it's, uh, we're only two months in. Okay, guys, but um, hopefully I'll get my refund soon and then I can begin to reallocate that capital, do some other things, okay? Maybe even buy some pullbacks across in, in the altcoins because I do believe that the bull run is going to get started again, um, even if it's a short-term run, okay? Altcoin season is coming. And I'm really looking forward to that. All right, guys. So I just wanted to give you this update. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you got your refund, please let us know in the comments. That gives confidence to other people that are waiting for their refund as well. So feel free to let us know in the comments, whether it's big or small. I don't care. Just let us know. All right, guys. And um, that's about it for this video. So subscribe to the channel. Like the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Tick the little bell for notifications, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.